They are like the way you roll it. As when I was singing, now if I'm singing Roll It by P Square, you should not roll the camera. Welcome, I beg. It's new, seriously. My name is MC Blue to CCFR. I'm trying today to try what my producer told me, which is I should not be smiling always because things in the country are serious. Yeah, welcome. Anyways, let's jump straight into the headlines. Minister walks out on Nan. Is it Nan? I've been Sans. That's the name of one drink. I used to drink that time. That tasty day. But anyway, shall Nance. The minister walks out of Nance as students protest. We shall overcome. So, so, so. Well, let's move on. Federal government has increased national fees, uh, school feeding uh, program money now. They say the food per plate now is 100 naira. Wow. Who they cook? Anyways, Buari heads out. Sorry. Jets out and moves to London again for medical check up wow, wow anyways minister of women affairs says male lawmakers against gender bill have no respect for women like they said it in a very very strong terms like they have no respect for women but moving on police has summoned the officer that they saw carrying a female's vip food in a viral video is that no respect for women help her carry food but let's let's just move on house of reps reject bill seeking to bar public officers children uh, from um, studying abroad that this is a very very interesting one we'll be talking about it but you can't make this up inside who they fight bas goes bas goes we fight call your call man mistakenly stabs his mother to death while fighting with his wife wow but on a serious note we'll be talking about the minister of power who once again is deciding to blame the dry season for the uh, reduction in the power supply in the country first if i say you know, we talked about this thing before. He first say that power supply is a thing of the past, but now dry season is to blame. I bet let's go on a quick break and when we come back, we'll enter inside the story fully. Hmm? It's new seriously. Don't touch your dice. Yeah, welcome to New Seriously, and we are jumping straight into the topics. That's the headlines, but we call them topics because now we are like discussing it. And we are starting, of course, first with the minister who walks out on Nance when they were shouting, Soli, 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 Dariti, forever, and the normal song of We Shall Overcome. Well, the minister of education, Adamu Adamu, on Monday, we, we saw the video. He walked out on, uh, of the meeting uh, with the student representative from the National Association of Nigerian Students that we popularly known as Nance, led by the union president, Sunday Asefon, over the ongoing strike by the academic, the Association of uh, Academic Staff Union of Universities, which we popularly know as ASU. Uh, remember that ASU is demanding one trillion from the federal government. If not, they will continue with their indefinite strike because they say that the federal government has refused to honor the 2009 agreement. And that's why they are doing, they no go agree, yo, they no go agree. And based on that, NAS decided to pay a solidarity and courtesy visit to the Minister of Education. And in the meeting, the minister can't say he no do again. He can't come up for inside the meeting. Not like he said he no do again, but he said he has listened to what they say and he only picks on things inside the talk that they talk and he kawakame out of the meeting. And immediately he walked out, they now continue to shout, We shall overcome with ministry representatives telling them, Calm down, calm down, calm down, calm down. Well, the news has gone viral and a lot of Nigerians have been weighing in on the situation that why would the minister walk out? Minister don't walk out. Listen to them. Are they saying what they are saying is not what they are saying that is not what they are saying that is not correct? You see, I'm even confusing myself because this whole issue is confusing. First, ASU and uh, the federal government have been meeting and you will hear that the meeting has ended in a deadlock. If not deadlock, we will hear that somebody carried dreadlocks. But anyways, inside all the lock and unlocking that they've been doing since, the main crux of the issue is that the education system in Nigeria is in shambles. ASU is on strikes and students are vexing, basically. They are vexing because uh, anytime you want to go to university now, just add plus X inside any year you are studying. So if you are studying medicine, that is like, how many years will be medicine again? Six-ish. So make it eight-ish because ASU go on strike-ish like twice-ish. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, let's just move on to other stories uh, because uh, even myself, I didn't think I can make a start a shout. Holy, 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 daddy for his salary. Let's move on. Now, um, federal government has increased the school feeding program. That's the money now for the national school feeding program to hundred naira per plate. Like this is good news for me. I, I'm like wishing I'm in primary school. You understand? So that I will go and eat. You know, when they started the school feeding program, we saw a lot of politicians, the vice president went to go and chop with them, you get. At that time, it was how much? 65 naira. I've been at 70 naira per plate. But now that it's 100 naira, it means maybe they feel they get like two, two meats. 
Wow, isn't that incentive to go to school? <laughs> I'm just thinking, you know, you know. <laughs> but well, it means that uh, with, yes, it was 17 Arapa plates. Ah, I'm correct. Well, the federal government has upwardly reviewed the national homeschool, homegrown school feeding program, uh, the meals from 70 naira to 100 naira per plate per child. Per child. I need to state it. All those children that carry two plates to school is per child. Please. Hmm? The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management and Social Development, um, Sadia Umar Farouk, made this known in uh, at a meeting uh, with, uh, of the seventh african school feeding day nutrition and human capital development in africa um, uh, of course and uh, she appreciated the president for the increment adding that it came at a time when all hands need to be on deck to ensure that all public pri um, primary schools um, from primary one to three uh, that's people are enrolled in the program basically you understand so all hands need to be on deck. We are talking about you that is cooking the food. Please, your hands on deck. We don't want here say picking country food of hundred naira because it look like seventeen naira when the money don't increase. You understand? Please, hmm. two meat, two meat, very important. 100, 100 yes, now if they increase, here they used to give subsidy. Now this is part of subsidy you get now. So like you are subsidizing the food for the student. Like guy, remember that time we shot. It's breaking time. It's breaking. No, it's break time, but it's breaking time. And we don't say food they involve you get so yeah because it's not ginger students to go to school because you don't say if you go to school if food no day as you could chop for school you get you're like say you go party when food no day as you understand let's just move on man yes where to hmm? <laughs> so my producer is just telling me now that you see my nurse and the the she also reviewed that series of incentives we are also being deployed to enhance the effective program delivery. And uh, the minister further stated that arrangements were made on the way to, prov to provide two free meals for out-of-school children from the scheme as it rolls out the alternative school program, ASP, soon. So this means if as a student I drop out, I get two meals. Why if I'm in school, I get one? Wow. Abi? Because... Two meals now for the out of school children, then one meal for those in school. ASP program. I don't want to think this thing well because now I can't think about dropping out. I just I don't know. No. If they are saying out of school children two plates and in school children one plate, so let I think we need to meet on another round table to discuss this program because we need clarity. You understand? We need to clarify some things on this. You get so is it that? Let's just move on to other gist. You understand? Mm. Let's problem no occur. Well, um, the next gist concerning uh, Baba Bubu, our uh, president, and uh, Buhari. Well, we are hearing that uh, the president, Mohamed Buhari, is set uh, already. When this news was produced, he was set to travel, but now he has fully traveled. You understand? Now he's in London, the United Kingdom, um, for a scheduled meeting and, of course, a medical follow up checkup for his follow up of checkups. Well, the statement released by Femi Additional and the Special Advisor to the President of Media and Publicity say the President will depart Abuja or has departed Abuja on Tuesday, uh, which was the 1st of March, to participate in the commemoration of the 50th anniversary of the United Nations Environmental Program scheduled for the 3rd and 4th of, um, uh, of March in Nairobi, Kenya. So he will first go to London. From London, he will now... Uh, Kawakamel enter Kenya and uh, this was sequel to the invitation extended to him by his Kenyan counterpart Uhuru Kenyatta uh, so it's either he's going to Kenya first uh, from Kenya to London from London back to Kenya but shall we not say John travel let's go on a quick break and when we come back we'll be jumping into other stories <laughs> 